guys, um, I've got, uh, pretty important news in, uh, when it comes to politics, I've got very important political news. Glenn Youngkin, um, has almost, I shouldn't say, he has won the governorship of Virginia, but it is most likely, by, you know, definitely most likely, almost positively, that Glenn Youngkin will win the governorship of, um, of Virginia. Let's see what we see here. Um, and Glenn Youngkin is already holding a victory party where just a moment ago people were screaming, everything like that. You know, we see the signs, even though he's not up here, people are waving their signs, they're so excited. But we look at this poll, um, not this poll, this, um, the, the AP, um, 80% of the vote is in, um, I know, I know it seems very close, 53.19% for, uh, Youngkin to 56.12% uh, for McAuliffe, um, and then of course 0.69% for Princess Blanding, but, um, but what leads us to to this conclusion that Youngkin will win is that Youngkin has led this entire um, election day. This entire election day, he has been leading the race, and we don't think that there will be any change. Fox News has called the election for Glenn Youngkin. They are the only major source. However, uh, ch YouTube channels like Ready Go Politics and Let's Talk Elections ha and Let's Talk Elections is actually a pretty democratic channel. Of course, Ready Go Politics is very conservative, but um, but both have um, you know, even Let's Talk Elections with, which as I said is democratic channel. They have called the election for Glenn Youngkin, and this is a this is a huge day. I mean, this is. Who would have thought that a Republican could win, um, could win the governorship of Virginia? But to me, what's more important is what this could signify, this Republican win in Virginia. Glenn Youngkin is savior to the Republican Party, really, because, you know, of course, he is the only one who could win the governorship of California, or I'm sorry, of Virginia, but he is also giving the Republicans a lesson on how to campaign in the future, on what to campaign on, and what their policy should be. I think this win in Virginia, this Republican win, could lead to a 2022 red wave, I really do, um, which would be very critical to the Democratic Party and to the, you know, um, to the Democratic Party, as I said. Um, but, um, you know, showed that critical race theory could be what to campaign off of, and it showed that critical race theory being taught in schools is not as popular as people think, and I uh, do believe here that Glenn Youngkin is about to is about to enter the stage, possibly. we talked about down here in the southeast, the Hampton Roads area, Northampton, etc. So watch what I do with the map here. You can see this, the counties that have gone from blue to red. Possibly not. We'll get back to this when he comes out. But, um, but yes, um, Glenn Youngkin has won. Um, well, it's almost certain that he has won the governorship just because, um, you know, he led the entire race. But as I was saying with the blue wall and critical race theory, Glenn Youngkin won because of critical race theory. And it showed that critical race theory is not... Uh, very popular, you know, when it comes to being taught in schools. And it, it also shows that the Republicans, this election does show that the Republicans do need to focus on suburban areas, you know, more. You know, Trump, he, he wants some extra votes in the suburbs, which really granted him victory in states like Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. And then, um, but in 2020, Joe Biden really took these suburbs back. But the Republicans, you know, they didn't really focus on them in 2016 or, um, to, or 2020, right? And that really uh, did, that really cost them a lot. But this shows that, you know, policies that Youngkin has that did seem very conservative could be popular in suburbs if they really try to get their message out and defend it. Plus, if it's something like critical race theory being taught in schools, 
which you know um of course would really connect with these parents in suburbs right so i do believe that this really could lead to a red wave in the uh in the 2022 midterm elections and possibly um 2024 election senate uh governor representative and presidential elections in 2024 um um let's see i'm just checking if any more if anyone else has called the election for um sorry for glenn youngkin let me just search has glenn youngkin won Here it is. Republican Glenn Youngkin won Virginia's governor race in an early warning sign for Democrats. Exactly what I was saying. How this could lead to a red wave in 2024. This is on BuzzFeed News, which, you know, of course, it's not like a whatever. I don't know. I've never. I don't think I've heard of BuzzFeed News before. Glenn Youngkin is still not on stage. But, I mean, they were able to write this article and, you know, ever since he won, which was like a couple of minutes ago. But, yeah, main focus is that it is an early warning sign for Democrats. You can probably go to the map here. Hmm. No, I don't see the map. Youngkin fans are chanting Youngkin right now. Okay, bye.